Hey there, in this tutorial, we're going to be comparing FL Studio's Picture versus AutoTune Pro. Which do you think is going to win? And which do you think is going to sound better for your own project? Hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Now, before you get started, don't forget you can click the link in the description below to get access to our free Telegram community where we, I hold free monthly master classes where I share kits, loops, packs, so much more, and even have one-on-one -on -one interactions with you. And you can also send your music for feedback and review. And yes, it's a very interactive community, and I hope to see you there. Now, let's get started with this tutorial. All right, so I'm going to play the two final versions for you, and you tell me which do you think is which. So I'm going to play this right now. Both are tuned, by the way. So now I'm going to play the second one. I love you, I need you, see I want you, can't, can't hurt you, cause I need you in my life, I need you in my life, I love you, see I need you, see you love me, can't, can't hurt you, so my baby be my wife, so my baby be my wife, girl I love you. Alright, so which do you think is which? Let me know in the comment section. So now let's start the tutorial. Alright, so we're going to be comparing these two side by side. FL Studio default picture versus AutoTune Pro. Now, these are the default settings. I've not done anything to any of them. Let me open up the mixer. Come to my vocal track. All, all I have on the vocal track is a compressor. Then auto-tune, then pitch. And I'm going to tune each of them separately. Then we'll compare which sounds better at the end of the day. All right, now, so I'll close this up. So I'm going to start with FL Studio. Sorry, with um, Auto-Tune Pro. This is Auto-Tune Pro. Um, so the key of this song is key B major scale so i'm going to use low mill because the artist singing is but first of all this is turned off you can see this is off this is off so this is the raw vocal love you i need you see i want you can't can't hurt you because i need you in my life i need you in my life i love you see i need you see you love me can't can't hurt you so my baby be my wife so my baby be my wife So now I'm going to tune this um, to the level I feel is fine. Then I'm going to do that the same thing for pitch, and I'm going to compare side by side and see which sounds better at the end of the day. So the key is B, and the artist is low male, major scale. So this retune speed is how much of the auto tune you actually want. So I'm going to take this. I actually start from around 10. So let's listen and see how it sounds at 10. Love you, I need you. See, I want you, can't, can't hurt you, because I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I love you. See, I need you. See, you love me. Can, can hurt. So if you want to sound more natural, you can adjust the flex tune to make it sound more natural. Love you. I need you. See, I want you. Can, can hurt you. Cause I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I love you. See, I need you. See, you love me. Can, can hurt 
touch you so my baby be my wife so my baby be my wife girl i love you and you love me too can i hold you and you hold me too don't let me too fall see don't let me too fall see girl i love you and you love me too can i hold you Don't let me to fall All right, so I think if I were to mix ordinarily, I would love these settings for my vocals for auto tune. So I think this setting is, is okay for this vocal. So I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to try to tune it with FL Studio Picture. So I'm going to come here, the key is B major scale. Now we don't have low mill right here. I would not advise you to touch this, um, this right here or this right here, just only the key and the scale. Then you adjust this accordingly. Then we play that. Love you, I need you. See, I want you. Can't, can't hurt you. Cause I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I love you. See, then I, I need you. Do you love me? Then I'll just the gender. Then I'll just the gender to compensate for, since it's a male, this is for female. This is for male. Then I'll adjust it. Then we this thing. Love you. Now you can see it comes really close. I can I can hardly tell them apart. Let me turn the um auto tune pro back on again. Love you, I need you. See, I want you, can't can hurt you, cause I need you in my life. Then let's listen with auto tune with FL Studio picture. Love you, I need you. See, I want you, can't can hurt you, cause I need you in my life. Well, what I noticed is that the picture sounds more natural, a bit more transparent. But while the auto tune pro sounds has that classic auto tune feel to it, but if it comes to snapping the notes on key, I think both do a great job. Love you, I need you. And a common place where tuning stuff usually flop is when it comes to places like this. Let me to fall. A lot of tuning software usually flop in those areas. Let me to fall. And this one got it right. And let's compare with auto tune pro and see. Let me to fall. Again, Let me to fall. you can hardly tell the difference apart. They sound so good. The FL Studio picture sounds so good. Love you, I need you. See, I want you. So let's increase it a bit and see if we can get more of that auto tune classic feel from it. Love you, I need you. See, I want you. Can't, can't hurt you because I need you in my life. I need you in my life. And let's come here and see. Let me to fall. Great. So I think now it sounds a lot like the Auto Tune Pro. Love you, I need you. Let's hear. Love you, I need you. See, I want you. Can't, can't hurt you. Cause I need you in my life. Then compare again. Love you, I need you. See, I want you. You can see it sounds exactly like Auto Tune Pro. I can hardly tell the difference. Well, I can do more advanced things with Auto-Tune Pro, but I hardly do that because when I'm recording vocals, I make sure the artist tries to hit in as much notes as possible. So with the graph mode, I can actually come in and dial in changes with Auto-Tune Pro. But FL Studio also has a similar function, but with a different software. Um, I think it's called, uh, let's see if I can find it. I think it's called New Tone also. I think the name of the software is called, the name of the plugin is called New Tone. So with New Tone, you can actually adjust pitch in FL Studio, but um, 
AutoTune has it inbuilt into the software, but this doesn't have it inbuilt. But if you ever need to do that, maybe you would prefer AutoTune Pro. But if it's just for tuning vocals and making it sit right with the notes and the pitch, I think Pitcher does just a good, a great job just as well as AutoTune Pro. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave us with a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that people that need this video can easily find it right here on YouTube. And also feel free to check out more of my videos that will help you level up your music making skills. Cheers.